This is a video showing how to capture the amplitude function of a decaying exponential. In this case, we've captured the velocity values for an oscillating disk that's oscillating about its um, equilibrium point. You can see the amplitude of these oscillations is decreasing over time. It can be helpful to capture the envelope function for this decaying uh, oscillation. To do that, it's going to be best to use a calculator. I'll go over to the left-hand side and select the calculator. The best function to take care of this is the amplitude function. So this amplitude function lives under this special button down below, and if you uh, mouse over the button for the amplitude function, you can see there's a full description of this function that's given below. There are four arguments to this function, peak, valley, time, and then x, which defines the measurement or calculation to which this will be applied. Generally, selecting parameters of 20, 20, and 0 0.5 are going to be best for um, an initial guess for the best fit for this type of function. Within this function, in order to overlay the amplitude function on my original data, I'll want to make sure that my units match those of the function that I'm uh, placing into these arguments. In this case, I've got angular velocity, so I'll want to match this with radians per second. Let me close my calculator drawer here. To overlay the function that I've just calculated, I'm going to uh, click on this vertical axis when the entire axis is selected. And then I'm going to go down to add similar measurement. Since I've chosen the same units here, I can go down and select my amplitude. So this does a curve fit for um, my data here. If I were to have any uh, data here that did not fit this, I could go up and select my highlighter, highlight that uh, data point that didn't fit, and then I can then go up to here to either exclude the data or to the right hand side delete that data point. Now that I have this applied, um, the entire data set is still selected here. Um, now that I see that it's actually fitting these peaks very very well, I can actually hide my original data if I wish to by again selecting on the vertical axis label, going to add similar measurement, and I can deselect my original data. Now I can apply a curve fit to this so I can uh, extract different damping coefficients from this. To do that, I'll go up and select on my curve fit, make sure that it's selected. And then I can go down and select my natural exponential. This will give me a curve fit with my different cur uh, curve fit parameters. That um, You can see the, the curve fits there very well. And then I can use that for further analysis of my data. 